Today we're going to take a look at the second part of measures of spread. We mentioned earlier on that uh, when we measure spread we're measuring kind of where data points are relative to all the other data points uh, in a, a list of data and it's also a measure of consistency. Okay, so we're trying to figure out where these things tend to group. And so uh, when we're looking at what we're going to look at today is actually uh, concepts of variance and standard deviation. And variance and standard deviation tells you how consistent um, a particular data point is relative to the average of all of the other data points that are in a, in a data set. Okay, so uh, we'll take a look first here at variance. And I know when you're looking at this, it kind of looks you know, that's a lot of numbers and kind of confusing and whatnot, but it's actually not nearly as bad as you think it is, okay? Uh, so variance is simply a way to measure how far a single value is from the mean or the average of all the other values that's in the data, okay? And in order to get, uh, we need to find variance so that we can find this concept of call, known as standard deviation, okay? So variance is simply uh, equal to, um, any individual data point minus the mean or minus the average of all the data points squared plus a second data point minus the average of all the data points squared plus a third minus the average all squared and so on and so forth okay so x represents a, a single data entry in the entire list and n is the total number of data points okay so we're actually finding the average of all of the these things put together okay and then we use that in order to figure out what the standard deviation is, okay? And standard deviation is simply, it's equal to the square root of the variance, okay? Uh, you've done square roots when, back when we did Pythagorean theorem and so forth, so that's not outside the realm of, of understanding. So standard deviation, it's the typical distance of a single data point from the mean or from the average, okay? So on, like, how far is, is a data point normally going to be from the average of all the other ones, okay? And the standard deviation is equal to the square of the variance. We mentioned that earlier. Uh, and this is the key. The larger the standard deviation, the bigger that number, the more spread out the data is, okay? If you have data that has a small standard deviation, that means it's more consistent, okay? It, it's more predictable, okay? And so we use things like standard deviation to measure uh, the performance of two different players, for example, that have the same goal total over the same number of games, and we want to figure out, well, which of those two players is more consistent? You know, does one guy, you know, score, you know, a goal a game, and another guy scores a hat trick and then goes five games without a, ga a goal and then scores a couple of hat tricks and then goes two games without a goal or whatever, okay? So we're trying to figure out just how consistent uh, individuals are, okay? And so that's uh, the whole reason and rationale behind this concept of variance and standard deviation.